In Schoolbox, you set up course pages, which contain your course information, assessment tasks, and are really a hub of information for students studying that course. You then link your course to your class page. You can import your course, and this brings over all of your assessment data for students to see. Students can then click through to see the course pages and get all of their course information from this area here. It works best to set up your course information on course pages rather than on your class page. There are many different reasons for this. One reason is that at the end of the year, you will get a new class, so you will need to have a new class page. If you put all of your course information on your class page, you'll have to redo it every year. And let's face it, we don't have time for that. Putting course information on course and unit pages allows all classes to tap into one area. It provides a space for teachers to work collaboratively together and put all of their information in one place. This avoids 10 teachers making the same content every year and allows teachers to work together and create it once and continue to edit it as they require. Another reason to put course information on a course page rather than a class page is there is so much information that you'll probably have to put in your courses. If this goes on your class page, class pages can quickly become very busy and cluttered and students won't know where to look. Putting all course information on course pages and all class information on class pages allows pages to be clear, structured and less cluttered. This makes finding things a lot easier for students and teachers. So let's start with how to set up your courses. To add a course page, navigate your way to your resources area. Find the area where your school stores its courses. This may be under a folder called Faculties or Departments. Once in there, select your subject, then click Add Folder. Write the name of your course, for example, Year 9 French. From the homepage template, select Course. If your school hasn't set up a course template, you can add any other type of page and customise it later. Set your permissions, allowing admin and teachers write access and students and parents read access. You can set your permissions differently. However, it's always great to have all students and all parents able to read course information. This is handy when students are thinking about their course selection. You can even go as far as setting up your course handbook by just referring to these pages. Once you've set your permissions, scroll down the page and click Add Folder. You've now created your course page. Your school will have set up your course page template to have various components on it. Some great things to put on course pages are text boxes explaining what the course is about, a feature image to engage students in the course, a folder component which will show the units that you are about to add, a files component, and maybe a rubrics component. You could also add the curriculum components which will show your curriculum mapping. You will learn more about curriculum mapping in future units. You can put as much or as little information on this course page as you like. It's really up to you. Here's an example of a course page that I've set up. On my page, you can see that I've described to students what they will learn in this course. I have all of their rubric criteria showing. I have some fun tiles that take them to their unit pages. I have some curriculum components, which show the links to the Australian curriculum. And I have a feature image. Now it's time to set up your unit pages. On these pages, you'll put any assessment tasks and any other information that's relevant to that unit. You can see the unit page 
as a concept or learning hub for that particular area of study. There are a couple of ways that you can add your unit pages. If you have the unit or folder component on your page, you can simply click Add Folder. If this is not the case for you, you can go to the Resources area, find your course page and click on it, then click Add Folder. In the folder name, write the name of your unit. It's always good to start the folder name with Unit 1, Topic 1, or something similar to this so that you can track the order in which your units are taught. In the Homepage Template field, click Course Unit. If your school doesn't have a Course Unit Homepage Template, you can choose another template, which you feel might be relevant, and then customise it later or you could ask your super user to set up a course unit template for you. Your permissions will be the same as your course page that you made previously. If you would like to change your unit permissions, you can change them in the role permissions area. Otherwise, scroll down and click modify folder. Your unit page has now been added. There are many different ways that you can set up your unit pages. The most vital component that you do need to put on your unit page is the course builder. This is where you can add tasks, quizzes and any assessment tasks. Anything built in the course builder will be able to be imported into the class page. You can put as much or as little information in here as you like. Remembering that these unit pages are an area for all teachers of this subject, you should work together as a team to work out which are the common tasks that every class does. These are the tasks that should be added to the course builder. At Schoolbox, we recognise that each teacher is different in the way that they teach. This is why you can always add tasks, quizzes and due work that are specific to your class once you import this course into your class. So on the unit pages, only put course materials that are common to all students that study this course. You will learn more about customising the course for your class a little later on. If you liked this video, remember to hit like and subscribe to our Schoolbox YouTube channel.